gonna set the city on fire. Hi, welcome. You are now tuned in to Burn Labs. The hottest underground radio network. First up, we have Roy Dale featuring Dizzy Wright with his brand new track called Faces. The track was recorded, mixed, and mastered by senior engineer Jason Barton. Make sure you follow Roy Dale on Twitter at Roy underscore Dale. Faces. 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 Fuck with a nigga like me, you can never get enough of a nigga like me New nigga from the bottom of the map, but I still put it down like a vet to the game Sure they wanna give me neck for some fame, it's how it is when you next in the game, yeah What you expect from me, never hand it to me, had to go and get it All my niggas made some sacrifices, I ain't any different Just a little gifted with a little drive to make a big difference Ain't even seen a check, I'm trying to plan out how I'ma go and spend it like Everywhere we go, we making faces that's big bills, nigga. Nothing less than Franklin's. Everywhere we go, we making faces. And I can see him hating, trying to pop, pop, and trying to leave me brainless, like, yeah. Don't fuck with a nigga like me. Never give a fuck if a nigga like me. Everybody wanna sign them a nigga like me. But they will never find them a nigga like me. I'm the new voice of the South. Nigga, I'm the new kid's choice of the South. Never been at the top, but a nigga feel good, got my feet on the couch My dick in the mouth, she talking that shit, then I'm kicking her out Still making faces, let a bitch power, let me see a mouse Like everywhere we go, we making faces That's big bills, nigga, nothing less than Franklin's Everywhere we go, we making faces And I can see him hating, trying to pop, pop, but trying to leave me brainless Cause I'm trying to come up with the greatest of right. Getting high so we can stay above him Call me some hand, you can make it a double I'm finna go get in some trouble tonight A couple cities and a couple nights whoa, whoa, Real money, whoa, what we finna get know. Pray to God I do not spend it quick, quick, quick. Gotta save a little for my kids Tell these promoters to get me now Before they have to stop paying me 50,000 50, Got the juice to shut the city down. city down Speak it all into existence, you niggas done seen it, seen it. Yeah, them Instagram pics where the marijuana be the greenest, the greenest. Pretty ladies liking all my pictures With fans in my comments that think I'm a genius I swear that I'm motivated Even though I'm known, I'm in denial You can already tell I've been around After I the track and send the foul Wait, 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 wait. Shit is outrageous Getting on stages I can see all of these faces, faces No face, jewelry face, sitting on top of my tap But I swear to God I feel I made it, made it Vegas made put it, me it, on Blessed cause I know that I could be gone It's my year man I thought you know These other rappers as good as gone Too authentic Took off now I'm off in it Black whip, black rims and it's all tinted You ain't really playing in the game Dog all scrimmage I'ma go and spend go and it spend it like everywhere we go We making faces That's big bills nigga Nothing less than Franklin's Everywhere we go, we making faces And I can see him hating, trying to pop, pop But trying to leave me brainless like With another Burn Labs podcast, I'm in the studio with Roy Dale And Casio Gang Agency Thank you guys so much for coming in today Absolutely Man, tell me all about this song The whole concept for the mixtape was all in a day Because it took an entire year to finally create But a lot of the songs were written in 24 hours or less Because I'm a procrastinator And it just comes to me in <laughs> waves Like I can't force myself to write music So when we sat down figuring out features We were like, Dizzy Wright would sound awesome what was the uh, Yeah, what was the reasoning for Dizzy Wright? Because I know even as you're putting your songs together you already had an idea about who you saw yourself on the track with it was neat because it was a nice middle ground for both of us because i'm not really just like the biggest stoner of all stoners or anything mm -hmm. and he's not the most money counting dude he's dizzy hippie obviously he complimented it so well and we didn't know what he was going to come back with and he came back in my opinion probably one of the hottest dizzy right verses of Absolutely. 2015 Absolutely, like it the was energy crazy. that he has <laughs> on that verse like that's missing from some other stuff the flow was crazy because whenever we were mastering it, we were just listening to the actual vocals and it just had so much hop to it. Like that could have been it itself. It had so much rhythm. I think we really complimented each other. On I mean, track. that is one thing that I think a lot of artists don't get until they're much later in their artistic progression is the necessity of working with other artists, having features and stuff like that. And so this is your first real project that you're coming out, right? Yes. Um, and to have that level of a feature on your project is amazing. Was that all your idea, Casio Gang? I imagine you have a lot to do with that concept too. We've known each 
other for a while. We've known each other for some years. And I took a shot at the rapping thing. They took a shot at the management thing. And then about a year ago, before I left to go to school, we linked up and they're like, hey man, this is the game plan. You can run with us or not. It's awesome, but this is our agency. We want you to be the face of it. We want to start with you. And they threw these names out there. Like we had a bunch of names like Alex Wiley and, mm -hmm. and a lot of people who just didn't like Starlito and stuff. Like a lot of people who we really tried to find a place for, but I'm more than happy with what we got. Do you solely pick the beats, Roy? Is it a group effort on picking the production? When we first started, I was so very creative control. Like Carlos started throwing beats at me, like this would sound really good with you on it. And then eventually it slowly turned into Carlos proposed the beats and me and Ander, it was like either yay or nay. Roy, tell us a little bit about yourself individually. Are you from Houston? I was born in the Woodlands. My mother's family's from Corpus and my father's family's from Dallas. And they decided they needed to find a nice middle ground. Somehow I ended up in Conroe. Let me ask you this because this is, a, and this is something that important and I think for other artists that are going to be listening to this, this is the big conundrum right here. You go through a stage of an artist of, oh, I'm an artist, I got shit to say, I record my shit, it's recorded, Right now what? You know, in that first artist, you're like, oh, well, I recorded it, so like, I'm just waiting on the millions of fans, you know love. what I mean? Yeah. I think necessarily, to a lot of artists here, it's credit, if you were doing what you do in LA, or you're doing what you do in New York, that might be a more realistic approach. Right. I feel like we're already planting this seeds. Don't, this is where people just don't know what the hell to well, do. I think the style. I think the Absolutely. Style, that's the style Absolutely. that we work is completely different. I mean, we're, we're trying to build a resume here. I think we're trying to do something that a lot of artists in Houston don't do. I think mm -hmm. we're working with people that a lot of people aren't working in their projects mm -hmm. with, whether it's from the north, you know, from <coughs> Michigan, whether it's from New York, whether it's from Florida, Cali, Nevada, it don't matter. Like, at the end of the day, it's all love, and we want to work with everybody that's at the top of their game. We see longevity in young people like Futuristic, for example, mm -hmm. a Jay Prince in England. We look at a lot of those people, and we admire <laughs> what they're all doing and uh, we just admire young talent and we think that the next level is just bringing the visuals together and then just taking it to the next level hearing the growth of Roy Dell what you didn't hear in all in a day and that starts with our next two projects coming out so definitely more storytelling more Texas forever ish like plots real names real people real streets not just vague statements saying hanging out with your baby mama like just more <laughs> more stuff that really hits close to home if you would have told me a year ago that I would have made a track of me and currency trading bar going tit for tat talking about the matrix and grand theft auto like i would have called you crazy because he's really big in the south i'm a really big spit fan and that goes hand in hand with these guys right i mean here. i used to listen to a project now and being like oh shit that's me and currency on a track it's, together it, it is it's almost like it's really surreal because like the thing is that all the features we catered so much to them that it sounded like they felt at home with the beats that we picked right. there was no all right i'm gonna try to rap to this or oh i'm gonna try to make this fit where can people uh, go get the project right now we are are everywhere. You actually can't get it on SoundCloud anymore. The downloads are now off after a thousand on each song. So now it's on iTunes, Spotify, Spinrilla, Google Play, Tidal. What about Twitter, Instagram? Where can people find you yeah. guys on social media? Karen? Roy underscore Dale, R-O-Y underscore D-A-L-E. And ours is just at Casio Gang Agency. All right, guys. Hit us up. Again, thank you so much for letting us use faces. Great project. If you guys have not heard this project yet, you need to listen to it. You will be so proud out of this hometown guy. We're out. We're out. We're out. We're out. We're out. Next up, we have Cody Tolliver with his brand new track for life. The track was recorded, mixed, and mastered by staff engineer Izzy Garza. Make sure you follow Cody on IG and SoundCloud at Coco the God. For life. For life. Hey. Fuck these niggas, fuck these bitches, always sneak dissing. Hating on a nigga cause I only speak business. If you get your money up, then you can eat with us. Ask your chick, nigga. She a key witness. Yeah. Tried to fuck, but I pass it to the Brody. No, no, no. Fake hoes tryna act like they know I me. Don't know you. Pops told me, don't let hoes control me. Can't, can't keep it. it super low, keep it these niggas, they nosy. Ugh. What's straining my OZ what? is y'all sipping on codeine. Nah, nah. Uh uh. Boy, never again. You fucking with fives, I got them tens. Think I got bankroll the way I spend. But they hate cause I fuck they friend. First things first, I always win. Can't give a damn if y'all talk down. Deep inside, y'all like my style. They cream been on me for a while. Thought I'd throw in no white towel. Trying to stun on me, don't know how. But while I roll white house, nigga, I'ma say it proud, bitch. I'ma say it proud, ayy. Fuck you for life. For life. Fuck you for life For life For life Fuck you for life For life For life For life For life For life Fuck you for life For life For life For life Fuck you for life No I ain't 
fucking with y'all no more. Don't know no, I ain't fucking with y'all no more. Yeah, that joke got me slow mo. Hey. My chain stay in rose gold, ayy. And my chain stay in rose gold, ayy. Always have boxing with my bros, ayy. Always have boxing with my bros, ayy. My bros, they go wherever I go. So they think I'm psycho uh. Every day I fuck your hoe, it's like a psycho Fuck you for life For life Fuck you for life For life For life Fuck you for life For life All right, Coco to God, what's good, bro? What's up, dude? How you doing? <laughs> good, how are you? <laughs> how you doing, man? I'm doing great now. Yeah, man, the, the track you did was For Life. Mm-hmm. Before we get into that, man, what got you started in with music? Like, what was, like, your the moment where you're just like, oh, I want to I wanna do music? First rap I ever wrote was in, like, seventh grade. Do you remember the first line? No, man, Do you no, remember I your don't. first rap ever? Yeah. No, I don't. Not really? It, I wrote it in, at home. My friend was like, you can't write music. Yeah. And then we both wrote. <laughs> he was just hating off yeah, the top. Yeah, <laughs> I'd never rapped before. We both wrote bars and came back to school. Right, right. That's the first uh, time I ever learned that you're supposed to write in bars, because I just wrote it like a story. Uh-huh. He was like, man, you gotta write it in bars. And I was young as fuck. <laughs> but then I never did anything, and then nothing came of it until high school, freshman right, year. Right, right. We met up with the homies, and we just been freestyling. That's, That's how it got kicked off from Speaking of freestyling, like, what's the number one beat like you want to go to to freestyle? Over? Yeah. Oh, it doesn't really matter. Is but it one that like, it's a style? Yeah. Like, yeah. maybe some old school. Always old school. Like, it's easier this, for me to come Whenever up. I DJ and some guys like come up to me and want to like, be like, yo, let me freestyle something. Yeah. I always go to Mop Deep, Shook Ones. Yeah. <laughs> like that. I don't know why. Just Dude. like, it, it's that moment in, yeah. in 8 Mile where he just kind of like went off. So everyone kind of just vibed yeah. off to that track. Dude, Mop Deep is just the shit. Oh, dude. yeah, dude. And that beat just. Oh, yeah. So, um, was there anybody artist wise or somebody you knew personally that influenced you to further yeah. doing music? Was somebody specifically that's just like, that, that's, or inspired you even yeah. to want to do music? My homie Joey. I brought him here Joey. one time. The producer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He He's makes cool. Beats, Shout out to dude. Joey. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, man. Man, he's yeah, cool. Right? He's His the, beats are pretty straight, yeah. Yeah, he's the one who told me that I had something special, I guess. So. <laughs> that's, oh. that's why, I've, yeah, that's why oh. I've been doing this. <laughs> <laughs> that's what's up, man. Yeah, yeah. that's cool. Good look from the homie. Hell well, yeah. As far as like an artist, though, anybody mm. that was just like that I knew, or no, just, just like an artist big. that you listened to. Uh, probably not. Yeah. Dude. Nas. Yeah. Listen to a lot of Nas? Yeah, back in the day when I started rapping, yeah. like, hip-hop, old-school hip-hop shit, I was addicted to it. Right, right, right. So, yeah. Nas was, uh, was the main. Is there, like, a favorite Nas album you always just go back to? Uh, I don't know, dude. All of them are good, man. <laughs> <laughs> you can't really, Seriously. like, pick one? <laughs> no, I can't, because they all have hit. Can you rate those albums, like, from one to five? All five. All five, he just never, that number one? <laughs> he never lacking. That's cool. Coming through. Um. All right, so the track for life. What's What is the track talking about? Well, yeah. for life is talking about girls and dudes that they be yeah. backstabbing or talking. Right, so rumors, you gotta spreading cut off. rumors. Yeah, 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 people you gotta cut off. You can't fuck with them. So it's like, fuck you for life. Like. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you for life. Yeah. yeah, the hook's catchy though, man. Yeah, man. It's, it's so sick. That's what I tried to uh, do. So what in, what inspired you to write this track? Like something specifically that maybe uh, brought up the reason behind the track? Um, uh, probably a breakup. A breakup. <laughs> a low key. Yeah. <laughs> low key. Just, just like. You kind of had to cut them off. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Yeah, you just go through some shit. It's a bad time. You gotta, gotta go, go through it, you know? Yeah. yeah. Anything that you have, like, coming up? Like, uh, any shows? Yeah. Not right now. I'm trying to build up my catalog of music uh, first, so right now we're coming out with an EP. All right, how many projects are you in now? Because we did the first EP. How many tracks was that? Like, seven? Six tracks on an EP with Low Eyes. Low Eyes? Yeah. What, uh, what was the name of that? It was called Doomsday. Doomsday. Yeah. And the track Doomsday was sick. Yeah. 
sick too. Yeah. Man. Check it out. Check out Doomsday on SoundCloud. That was a dope project, man. Yeah. It was that was old. so sick. Yeah. I don't know if we released another EP, but we're just working on this next one. Yeah. We and just then, been uh, releasing. Are you gonna like try and do a mixtape after this, like an entire mixtape, yeah. or just EPs until you get a you know, buzz going, and then maybe work on like on an album? Yeah. I like doing EP just because they're short. Right. So like five or six songs. So right, I'll right. always be doing EPs, but I want to do a full length mixtape. Probably. That'd be pretty dope. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> pretty soon, actually. Um, are you already in like the writing process of this next mixtape? Oh no, I'm I'm still in just, the EP. Just still the EP. Still in the EP. What do you call this next EP? Untitled right now. Yeah, it's we untitled. Ha- we're waiting till we have the songs. Right, right. And then you gotta listen to them. Yeah. And kind of just and like, like, what, is it? Oh, what are we man. talking about here? Hell yeah. Real quick, how how can we get a hold of you? What's your Twitter, Instagram, SoundCloud? What's give us that, man. We need my, a, we need a way to reach you. My Instagram, Coco the Guy, K O K O T H A G O D. SoundCloud is Cosby the Guy, K O S B Y T H A G O D. I gotta change that. <laughs> <laughs> then uh, Twitter is for Show Bro. For Show Bro, yes, yeah, yeah. F A I need F A S H O B R O. I gotta change that too. But yeah, that's all. <laughs> yeah. That's all I'd be rocking with. Yep, yep. Any final yeah. thoughts? Any shout outs you want to get out? Shout out Grimy. Uh, shout out Joey. The Strange. Shout out Low Eye. Shout out Perp Dog. Perp yeah. Dog, man. You bringing a lot of his tracks. Yeah, in. shout out Perp shout Dog. Shout out Perp Dog. Yeah. yeah, we coming up. Yeah, and you heard it. You heard it here. Cosby the God, Baron Studios, 832 Room. Man, I appreciate you coming in, bro. Hell yeah, for sure. Thank always, you, man. Always a pleasure having you in, this man. We special. have some dope sessions. So, oh, yeah. yeah. Be on the lookout next Saturday. The next track is called Easy Work by Meth. This song was recorded, mixed, and mastered by staff engineer Terrence Mackey. Make sure you follow Meth and E on SoundCloud at young underscore meth and Martian underscore. Easy work. Easy work. Nigga, it's a landmark everywhere I'm stepping mud in my section Bitch, I landslide the election Hands tied, I can still sell it And that band and I tied If I feel disrespected And I just can't help it If I get a little violent I might start a riot Demons kill cops And we marching in silence The type who would throw a stone At the Messiah It won't help If I feel like I'm in hell now So if I spit fire while I'm in hell I guess I still melt Spit that shit that turn a sword To a steel belt Archangel's blade Only thing that can kill me. But then again, he might see the end of this still tech Represent death every time I take in breath Breathe out this dope that your bitch love to inject Sipping on high tech, that activist up next Like the runner up, shit can't fail Thunder got in my pocket, I got the power of email You won't be left in one piece, your girl dumb sprung She think I'm Luffy the way she chew me like gum gum You won't understand, unless you a fan Of the anime they make out in Japan Oh look at Ja, I done made Ja shit Japan It just depends if I'm Gara might fuck your car up, you gon' be like, how we stuck in quicksand? Counting ducats, making buckets, sipping kickstand It wasn't luck when I struck with the strength of a truck My fridge full of innocent, you can't get a buck Yeah And it's just the way it is, and I'm living like that It's time about they gon' pull up on me Pull up And it's just the way it is, and I'm living like that I tell you where I'm at right now, y'all can't say it's right now And it's just the way it is, and I'm living like that and that's just the way it is, and I'm living like that. Niggas be up in the saddle like a silhouette. Can't accept the exception of intellect. Been a dick, plus I'm the hardest, so I've been a wreck. Been that nigga, you can't tell me shit if you ain't splitting checks. I'm remaining great, other niggas praising hate. Full moon transformation, nigga, I'm a saying eight. Niggas playing fake, so I'm a praying wait that I could get these motherfuckers hell when they play my tape. Vivid thoughts don't like the right, but I can still sketch it. I get the guapo when I can, but I can still stretch it. But it make the world turn, so I'ma still fetch it. This ain't AIDS, if you got protection, you can still catch it. Swear these niggas shit and they ain't shit. Eyes low from the fucking cush with a facelift. I be on some shit, getting spaced in a spaceship. Don't get complacent, confused with my patience. My mind be so wrapped up, I'm so fucking tangled. Eating with demons and sleeping with angels. My niggas protractors, they hit you from angles. Live with the lions, the bears, and the bangles. Look. But these niggas don't understand You let it go and it hurt, that's a rubber band Smoke a blunt and I land on a whole nother land I ain't playing, give a fuck what these fuck niggas saying Look, niggas think I'm soft well, they fucked up. You wanna bang with a beast? Put your luck up. Niggas pulling up with that duck tuck. Hit you from your motherfucking waist to your neck like a button up. Never been the killer, but don't try me. I mark a track, bring it back, that's a zombie. Got it on lock like that motherfucker Gandhi. Run the fucking game and the squad right beside me. They never behind me. My niggas so grimy. Do this shit dirty, so nasty, so slimy. I look over earth, so my bros call me Kami. You ain't high as this dog, you need to keep climbing. I feel like a giant, rapping on my 
leisure I be like Jordan, you ain't even Steve Kerr Serving niggas crack on these beats, fuck a beeper Rolling up some loud in my suite like a speaker Like MJ and I, I keep that 45 shooting So you better keep it moving You don't wanna see my bad side, that's a bad influence So just watch what you doing You say you running shit, but you can't tell you, nigga I make you bow down like I'm your sensei, nigga You screaming that you real, but you bitch made, nigga You fucking up if your girl come this way, nigga Pull up in that photo with a by four roll I thank God for that homegrown Smell dick as fuck, but my outfit's so on Man, this headband so strong If y'all clap, then we clap back Call up the team, cause you know they keep them straps packed And we smoking green like it ain't no turning back I swear y'all kids stay playing, y'all such a class act Cause everybody know that cream is the anthem I'm chilling with the heavyweights and you ain't even ban them Killing all these beats, yeah, I swear that we phantoms Drop the dick, then leave her, she throwing to potentials All right, here we are with another Burn Labs podcast interview. This is Jason. I'm here with E and Meth of The Antagonist. Guys, how y'all doing today? Shit, good. Chilling, chilling. Meth, how you doing? I'm doing good. I'm just chilling, man. <laughs> All right, guys, the song is called Easy Work. Tell me a little bit about this track. We was just chilling in the whip one day, man. And I came to this nigga with the video on YouTube, and it was just a beat. And I was just like, man, let me show you a verse I had wrote. He was fucking with it when I showed it to him. And so I was like, man, you want to uh, hop on that bitch? And so he just hopped <laughs> on that hoe. Meth, when you heard the beat, what were you thinking? We had booked the studio session to make 13 Ghosts And then like after that we was like, man, we might as well do this song too And y'all was like, okay, we could go to the studio on this day And then we called Baron and booked it for that day Do you write in the studio or do you just kind of listen to it and get ideas in your head and then write them out? Well, for 13 Ghosts, I wrote that verse on the way to the studio As soon as I got in the car, I put my headphones in and I wrote that on the way to the studio And what about you, E? What's your writing process like? I listen to the beat and then I just write just the normal way you Do know? you guys ever write first, then find a beat for a verse? See sometimes, or, see, sometimes I do that too. Sometimes I catch myself like if I'm and taking a shower or some shit. I just be chilling and I think of some shit and I be like, man, I'm about to break that shit down. I be at work thinking about some shit. So that the whole track done. In one hour? Yeah, I wouldn't have. Like, wow. <laughs> it was crazy. Because the night before, I'm like kicking him right. I'm listening to the beat and I'm writing. And I'm writing and I'm just coming up with stuff to say back to back. And I'm kicking him while I'm writing. I'm like, bro, I'm doing really good on this song. And I was like, bro, I'm almost done. Like, it took me 25 minutes to write the whole thing. And who's, on, who's on the last verse of the song? That's my, uh, that's my nigga, Yalton. Well, we call that nigga Coop. He from Baytown, but yeah, he live in Channel View now. Everybody on the track have caught that same vibe that, that the producer put on that beat. And I like that whenever you hear a beat and it's got a tone or a theme on it, and then everybody that jumps on it keeps it consistent. A lot of artists don't do that kind of stuff anymore. What I used to like about features is you used to get to hear a rapper that you liked on a kind of beat mm -hmm. that you didn't normally hear them on, or right. get to hear them side by side with another artist that you like and respect. And now I feel like verses are just kind of flown in. And were you guys all aware of what you were writing about for the song? Was that part yeah. of the process? We never are just like, I right, look, we gonna write about this specific thing. It's mm -hmm. just like, hey, do you like this beat? It's like, yeah, you know what? I think I can write to this beat. And then we all just saw how we really just Is it important to you what he was rapping about on there at all? Honestly, no, not at no. all. <laughs> but, you, but you all felt the same. Had yeah, that same like, feeling. I just, like, I just knew. Because I already heard his we, verse. We, and we, I okay. Was just, yeah, yeah. I was just like, this is a good verse. Like, what do you guys um, think about Texas rap music right now? How do you guys see yourself? I feel like we don't fit in. If man. someone were to hear that song, would they associate that with a Texas artist, do you think? No, because it's like Travis Scott. He's a Texas artist. And he has he makes nothing that's like but what see, to me, Houston rap is. To me, well, that's what Tradition. Houston rap really is see, now. Really? Yeah. We're not known for that yet. Well, so we ain't known for yeah. it, though. And like, probably anyone 25 and over doesn't know that yet. Yeah, that's true. Because they're still kind of holding on to some some old things. But but most of the people that I work with or that's even come through the studio are more in lines with what you're doing and are thinking like that. SoundCloud helps so much. Like, SoundCloud. Because right. this is a group called Night Heat. It's like NYT Heat. They are like so otherworldly from Houston. Like, right, we all got to go find out about Night Heat. NYT right. Heat? Yes, like on SoundCloud. Like, they like have that, some. Man. And they're not even rappers. They just so psychedelic. 
we that's okay. We Actually, do. this is a really interesting topic right here too. Psychedelics in rap music. That's kind of a newer concept in the last couple years. I'm really that starting to see. That is really true. I'm like, really starting to see more psychedelic yes. influence. In rock music, psychedelic hit really hard in the in the late 60s yeah, and, and 70s. That, that's been there. And been that, there. that changed. Been there. Been but there. that changed what rock music used to be like. Very blues sounding and very simple music. Then it went to like yeah, sitars true. and weird shit. Even the recordings came different. And we want to talk about like psychedelic stuff. Like I think Kid Cudi would fit into kind of ushering that in a little bit. Go back to Travis Scott, very psychedelic elements in that. But see, now I've heard some like old heads say that it came from being popular to be the dealer to now it's like popular to be the user. It's like complete reverse now. That's a a good concept. Whose project is is this song going on? It's not really even on one. (laughs) We were thinking about doing a joint EP with a nice amount of songs on it and just having put it in like nice sleeves or nice cases and just hand them hoes out. Meth. Meth, if people want to find you, where can they find you at? On SoundCloud. What's your SoundCloud? Young underscore meth with no O. And I got a Twitter. What's your Twitter? At underscore super mag nasty. Super mag nasty. What about IG? Underscore he that smooth underscore. <laughs> and what about you, E? Where can we find some of your music at, man? Shit, you can catch me on SoundCloud at Martian underscore. I don't have a Twitter. IG? Instagram, you can catch me at Don One. It's actually spelled like D A H N W A. Man, guys, thank you so much for coming and interviewing with us. That was a lot of fun. It was really good to talk to you about it. Super dope, man. Thank you so much for letting me interview, and thank you for letting us use the track. Next up, we have an artist who goes by the name of Peso Chill with his brand new track, Diamonds. This track was recorded, mixed, and mastered by staff engineer Davis Strauss. Make sure you follow Peso on IG and SoundCloud at Peso underscore chill. Diamonds. 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 Diamonds on my neck and ain't no clouds in them, nah Diamonds round my wrist and ain't no clouds in them, oh On the way up north and we got pounds with us, yeah Cases of the drink, natural born sippers, oh Diamonds on my neck and ain't no clouds in them, nah Diamonds round my wrist and ain't no clouds in them, oh On the way up north and we got pounds with us, yeah Cases of the drunk, natural born sippers, oh Diamonds on my wrist, came straight from Malaysia Bitch, I'm plugged in, yo shit look full gazing Sipping on this lean, got a nigga lazy Mama mad, cause she know this not the way she raised me Nah, but I'm addicted to the street lights, yeah Love the way my diamonds hit out the street lights, yeah Stuffing dirty in a backwood, trying to get rich and buy island Fucking on a bitch and she Italian, pussy dripping when she see the diamonds Thug nigga and your bitch love it, that's your baby mama but she wanna fuck me Hold it down for a nigga, probably do some time for a nigga, yeah You a little dealer, can't you get the picture, half a pound ass nigga? But all of my niggas be trapping, all of my niggas we been about that action I'ma go get me a package, niggas still banging that trapping in traffic I love this shit with a passion, I can hear the niggas asking Who the hell is that nigga getting money, bitches pay so catch me Running around with the sack, got a couple pints leaning off the act Oh, diamonds on my neck and ain't no clouds in them, nah Diamonds round my wrist and ain't no clouds in them, oh On the way up north and we got pounds with us, yeah Cases of the drink, natural born sippers, oh Diamonds on my neck and ain't no clouds in them, nah Diamonds round my wrist and ain't no clouds in them, oh On the way up north and we got pounds with us, yeah Cases of the drink, natural born sippers, oh Alley oop of four, spill it in the Sprite, oh You say you sipping too, but it ain't looking right, nah I keep a couple bands put up in a box And keep that 40 close to me, niggas trying to plot, yeah Every day I'm thinking of a new way to try and go and get some money, yeah Run me up a couple checks, grab all my niggas, fly them out the country, yeah Real niggas do real shit, I'm the realest nigga, I'm too legit Quit rocking that fake shit, yo Ferragama is fake, bitch some of y'all niggas outdated Got four or five chains gold plated Mouth full of gold can't buff it That's that bullshit boy quit stunting Everybody say they spilling sauce Knowing damn well glass in they mouth Undercover hoes Bruce Jenner With them face tats like they real killers Diamonds on my neck and ain't no clouds in them Nah, diamonds round my wrist and ain't no clouds in them Oh, on the way up north and we got pounds with us, yeah Cases of the drink, natural born sippers, oh Diamonds on my neck and ain't no clouds in them, nah Diamonds round my wrist and ain't no clouds in them, oh On the way up north and we got pounds with us, yeah 
Spices of the drink. Natural born sippers. Oh. Month of September, Burn Labs podcast. We're in Baron Studios, room 832. We have Justin Lewis in the building, aka. Play so chill, man. What's up, man? Nothing much. You getting it in? How are you doing today? All right, all right. You know, taking it day by day, you know. Thank you so much for letting us use Diamonds on our monthly podcast, dude. You've been pushing that song a lot since you've put it out. Where can people find it? Oh, you find it on SoundCloud or you follow me on Instagram at peso underscore chill. It's right there, link in my bio, man. I'm trying to push it, trying to get as many hits as I can. Is this song part of a project that you're working on? Yeah, it's part of my uh, my first mixtape, Money Badge Volume 1. It's going to beat the streets up, man. Okay, and when is that dropping? Soon. Can we expect any other singles before the project comes out? Yeah, I got a couple of them, man. I got one called Too Much. Okay. I got another one called Trap House. Mm-hmm. got another one that's called Work. That's for the strip club. Can't get y'all too much, but they coming, though. Okay, for sure. Tell us, how did you start your music journey, and who kind of influenced your musical approach? Honestly, it's a crazy story, but first started rapping, was in the house. Was me, my little brother, you know, some of my cousins, man. Uh, we were just freestyling on the beat, just going off. And my daddy, he's like, I guess he creeped up on us. He heard us, you know, going off. We cussing everything. I'm about 13 then. So he came in college. He was like, yeah, I'm going to think of a punishment for y'all, but I just don't know what it is yet. So he go in the room about an hour. He come back. Hey, all right, I think I got a punishment for you. I'm going to teach you how to really rap. You're going to write me a 16 bar rap, and I'm going to tell you if I like it or not. So he showed me how to do bars, how to set up up the rap and everything and nice. she, I wrote something and he was like damn man you know you could go like that and ever since then I just fell in love with it well, that's one of the best punishments I've ever heard and somebody <laughs> teach you how to like structure a 16 that's yeah. dope a lot of these kids should learn that too uh, <laughs> okay content of the song Diamonds it's a fun song what is it exactly talking about you know everybody on the jury blast at first it was straight diamonds then amigos came out of everybody about the gold mm-hmm. I'm just taking it straight back to like diamonds man it's a lot of people out here rocking that fake glass Ass, man, you know, okay. if it ain't VVS, you need to put it up. Every rapper you see, even if you're just not a rapper, you a sports player, everybody rocking their jewelry, man. Mm-hmm. So that's for somebody to be able to, you can rock this on anybody like, yeah, Peso said the best. Diamonds on my wrist and ain't no clouds in them. Oh. What's your favorite brand of lean and why? Me? It's the act. But you know, boys mess that up for us. So right now, me, I'm on the wash and I ain't even gonna lie to you because it's perfect. I like to put it in the Sprite and I like to do my thing with it. What about all the side effects that people are talking about that lean has in a longer and a lot of very well-known legendary artists have passed away from that. What's your take on that? Uh, that's because people really don't know about the drink, man. It ain't really the drink that'll make you have bad effects. Say your kidney hurting that. That's the soda, man. People get kidney stones from drinking too much soda. Okay. You mixing up the lean with the soda. Yeah, you can overdose from the lean, but when you think about it, even if you sip on the ace, you still overdosing because that's how you get in the lean effect. You're not supposed to be taking that much period. That's just a chance you're going to take if you're going to sip. Trying to get rich and buy an island, which or what island would you buy? If I could get enough money, buy the Bahamas or something like that. Okay. <laughs> so what's the upcoming plan for your project? Man, right now, what I wanted to do, I wanted to do like at least 10 tracks of my own. Mm-hmm. And I know a couple of people out here doing their thing too. You know, uh, shout out to Louis V. Slugger, man. It's my boy. He doing his thing. I might want to throw a couple things on there, but as of right now, I really don't know. I'm just really trying to push diamonds so much to mm-hmm. people like I know him for that and then just go from there. Like I want to use diamonds to get out there to where it could just be, you know, circulating around which would give me more time to sit back and work. Because right, right now, I really don't have that exposure where I could just sit back and really just try to work on my project because I don't want nobody to forget about me. Mm. So that's why I'm pushing Diamonds so hard because I want it to be like imprinting in people's mind. Can we expect a visual for Diamonds? Oh, for shizzle. Yep, y'all gonna, get a, y'all gonna get a visual for Diamonds, man. It's coming. I talked with a couple people. Another dude, he called himself Chill. He works with IO Visuals. Okay. Uh, Orbit did it. I was supposed to be meeting with him. I probably talked mm. to him today. I got another person I'm working with, man. David Bowie, 281 Studios. You know, that's coming soon. They say they want to shoot my video. Okay. Uh, so it's a couple of people. I just got to see what we got, what we working with. So there is no there is no specific release or drop date for Money Bags Volume 1, but can we get a month? Man, I say the latest would be like almost around next summer. Cool, man. Are there any shout outs that you want to give out to people? Shout out to the whole Greenspoint, Texas, man. Shout out to them. Shout out to the whole fam, man. You know, it, it is what it is, you know. Straight up, dude. Thank you so much for coming through and letting us use your track diamonds. Oh, really? It's a pleasure to me. I need the exposure, so it is what it is. Next up, we have PCP by King of Nothing. The song was recorded, mixed, and mastered by senior engineer Jason Barton. Make sure you follow King of Nothing on SoundCloud and IG at Songs About Girls. I've 
Always tryna paint a picture that we won't ever see You been searching for a nigga that I won't ever be Lux told me it was time to move on like a knee Pussy power too strong and it won't let me leave Come me now, come me now please Only married to the game for the dowry Always telling me it ain't just about me You keep stressing that you came here without me Thanks for the outreach but I'm okay Let her run your mouth, tweet what you won't say In the end I wonder will I be with you, no way I been tripping, think about the sweetness of your taste Like pancake, compasses My favorite dessert Whatever happened to making it work Whatever happened is making it worse It hurts more cause I'm all alone in this shit Every time I call your phone I hit click I'm just too afraid to talk to you Girl I get my heart to you But you threw it on the floor when you dip Slipped and we fell Got back up and I was distant as hell They say that ignorance is bliss, couldn't tell I just throw another wish in the air like Yeah right, now who you gonna blame when we both self-righteous Wanna stay but it can't be like us When I dance my whole world changed up I went away to the deal with the anguish Late at night I'm thinking of you Can't decide but I think I love you Deep inside knew it always was you We can make it right if I learn but what's the my daddy told me never trust a hoe, trust a hoe, trust a hoe It's fair to say that's why I made that mistake in the first place And girl you something like a juggalo, juggalo, juggalo I can tell you crazy cause you painted it all over your face And all I wanted was for you to treat me like you care about me But let's be honest you been on the break of promise So I spoil you till you're writing cause you can't say sorry You won't ever worry about a damn thing shawty Whenever the nanny have to campaign for it I'm barely giving by while you champagne pour it And I've been trying to live a lie but I can't ignore it Wildin' and flexin' and flexin' and wildin' My baby left when I messed up the timing Find a new freak, now this cloud has a lightning I'm about to beat that shit out of a lot Out of the frame, I'm out of my brain Went back off my medicine, now I'm insane Trying to deal with my demons, that's lions and tame Plus there's no guarantees in your lies and your claims And I need some certainty I need to know that you're down I need security I need two feet on the ground Yeah Listen, cause this is the sound He's insecure, feel like every time we disagree, there's a war I be acting like I never seen this before When it happens in the press and these, this to yours Please skip a score, play the game, play the game I told you it's yours, say my name, say my name Screaming all aboard, cause you finna miss the train I saved you an extra seat, but you busy saving face We don't need movie stars, be who we are I just think you scheming too hard, reaching too far I give you the keys to the car, leave it in park Girl, we either eat or we starve, these could be ours I was scared of dying alone, riding the stone Now I feel I'm finally home, trying to my own, swallowed up my pride just to grow wiser in hopes You stay by my side, but it's alright if you Don't Don't podcast this is jason here i'm here with brody's fault records alumni and head honcho brody what's up lux is reaching and king of nothing nothing at all nothing. not one thing all right let's talk about pcp panca con pasas it's like pound cake with raisins is the literal translation right, story on the, the instrumental i actually uh, made it a long time ago in high school and this is one of those ones where like i kind of just had it forever and i never really thought i'd do anything for it and honestly that kind of weight totally shifted when i gave it to darren but it like the worked. way that you guys gel on that track it, it gels so much that i can't ever picture the instrumental not being written for the way that you performed on it and i can't picture your performance ever being with that instrumental definitely i mean well the cool thing that me and lux have going as far as like a working relationship is we are also very close friends and in addition to musical collaborators and i think that what's different and special about this song is that usually we're right there neck and neck and sitting in the same room and just playing different sounds while i'm pitching him lyrics and things but one of the things i really liked about this track specifically is that it was more of an opportunity to kind of reinterpret like a past version of lux and it was really more revisit something that it 
come from the past because like this was something when I first met him that he played. It's just cool to think because it's been around for a while and it's a beat that we heard and it was like, okay, maybe we'll come back to it. It's definitely a living, breathing testament to the fact that as time passes and as people change, our perceptions of things and art and the way we hear things and experience them is different. You know, I love that song through and through and being in the studio with Lux really allows me to get to a higher height of performance. Lux also executive produced the album as a whole, of course, with you mixing and mastering. Definitely having you guys to work on this has been a blessing. And it's one, we all have this as like a tangible representation of our friendship over these past years. And Jason with you as an engineer and Lux with you as a producer, I know without a doubt that there's nobody that can get the best work out of me like you guys can. Foundationally speaking, what allows us to have that kind of rapport is trust. Mm -hmm. Because the reason that a lot of artists can't connect with people to that extent is because there's always the back of the mind worry that maybe if I say this, or maybe if I tell him that I don't like this, maybe we won't be friends anymore. Mm -hmm. Maybe he won't fuck with me. But it's all about trusting that you guys, whenever we get in session, that whatever is said is ultimately said in the effort of getting the best product done. Mm -hmm. And that's something that it's really important to stay cognizant about because like me and 20 were just joking like we're sensitive like I'm sensitive I wouldn't be good at this if I weren't sensitive <laughs> right right and the one thing that we're all fortunate enough to have is that all of us genuinely care about each other and we care about putting the best product out for ourselves as a representation of ourselves and for our friends but I think another thing that you can kind of see in PCP the song especially is that one thing that he's come with the receptiveness and with the trust is the confidence in his music you see, and when you have people that break you down so much and try to make you the best and you're way more confident in the product you put out, and that shows. Yeah. I mean, even in vocal projection, mm -hmm. people believing Absolutely. in their words. I mean, Definitely. there's no way that he could have been as vulnerable in this song as he was yeah. if he was not receptive. And so that's something that also is an even bigger product of having people around you and hardening yourself to receive all that right. is that your product will be more confident. For sure. Play it backwards, you can hear the Pokemon theme. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about, about Brody's Fault Records. I've always liked music. I've tried to make music, but really the real reason I started doing this, supporting other people's music, is I don't like most of the new music that's out, honestly. Yeah. And, <laughs> and, um... Try harder, y'all. You know, please. <laughs> and I'm... <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to make some music that I like and I more than like this and I more than stand behind it because mm. it's something different it's not generic it's organic and original and it just conveys so much emotion and range that it's just started at my bottom now we're quick so. <laughs> um, Lux, as a producer, where can people find you and get in touch with you about production and stuff like that? Lux is reaching on SoundCloud. That's L-U-X-I-S. Reaching R-E-A-C-H-I-N-G. And then, Connie, where can where can people find you? Facebook, King of Nothing. Twitter and Instagram, <laughs> Songs About Girls with Zs. And Brody, where can aspiring artists that want to that wanna suck you guys dry off this whole great team that you have, where can I find out about you? Um, Facebook, Twitter. <laughs> We're still developing a lot. I'm working on a website right now, also just to promote. All right, guys, and the track is PCP, Pancake Composites. Thank you very much, King of Nothing. Yeah, and I'll um, I'll give you my next album early if you tell me that you think I'm pretty. Good deal. <laughs> guys, thank you very much for coming all the way out here today. Yeah. And making yes, this so fun thank you. We're glad to we love you. fucking I Dream in Stereo. Yeah.